This morning, we have a super secret inside look at a funky, fun, and free event in Portland. Yeah, it all started as a whim during the pandemic, but this retro hobby is growing into a Portland movement. Uh, Fox Hills Bonnie Silkman is here to show us it involves disco, dancing, and roller skates, Bonnie? Yes, you cannot forget the roller skates because it's called Secret Roller Disco, and it's so much fun, one of my favorite Portland events. This all started as sort of an underground skate meetup during the pandemic with just a few friends meeting in a garage. Now, though, hundreds of Portlanders dressed in their best meet up to roll in the Rose City every Thursday night. If you hear that funky music, see the colorful lights, and spot those retro wheels, you may have uncovered Portland's least best kept secret. Welcome to the Rose City's Secret Roller Disco. You remember that muscle movement from when you were a kid? and it just flows from there. When you look around, everything here is so perfectly Portland and joyous. Yeah. It's like the best part of the city. Every Thursday night, you'll find sometimes hundreds of Portlanders spinning and gliding on a makeshift roller rink somewhere in the city. Maybe a parking lot, an empty warehouse, or a basketball court. And tonight's theme is pink, or it's um, Disco Barbie. The theme and the meetup spot is a secret, mysteriously changing every week. But the light up wheels, the high fashion, and the throwback moves stay the same. This skate community has lifted so much of us out of the slump and depression that we faced over the last couple of years. And it's brought so many people together. And I honestly, I have a skate family now. And Vanessa Miali's roller fam is growing fast. We started up on a parking garage. Yep. And we had some friends come and then Instagram found out and now we have 11,000 followers. Francesca and April call themselves the accidental co-founders of Secret Roller Disco. We love Portland and we just like to bring joy to different places. The duo says obtaining permits and finding places to roll is a big challenge. They also bring in a roller skate rental truck, photo booths, food vendors, and a DJ. We have invested a lot of blood, sweat, and tears and money into this free event. <laughs> Two words to describe tonight would be freedom and acceptance. What do you guys think? This is the only move I have. Whether you're a beginner skater like me, or if you've been doing it for years, this really is a community event for everyone. This pandemic hobby and popular pastime is transforming into a roller skate revival. How old are you, Ava? Four. I like to skate. Embracing all ages, all skills, and all wheels. Join in, be a weirdo. Yeah. Come skate, hey, it's cool. <laughs> To find out the very, very secret weekly location and the theme, and if skate rentals will be available that night, just go on social media. It's really easy. Look up Secret Roller Disco or go to their website. They post the theme and the new skate spot every week. They roll every Thursday night from 7 to 9, rain or shine. Okay, let me first of all just say your, your pants were amazing. Amazing, right? <laughs> thank I'm you. I'm all about the fancy pants. Yes. Uh, thank you. How did you hear about this? I heard about it through some friends because I picked up the sport of roller skating okay. uh, right That's before awesome. summer started. And a friend heard about this skate event, told me about it. I went, had so much fun, made friends. Well, and I great. love that there are kids there, too. Well, that's what I was oh, going to yeah. say. For it's so family ages. friendly, which is such a fun thing. And it's amazing. Like, I was struggling out there. Yeah. And people swoop in and say, hey, you know, I can loosen these wheels. Or they give you little tips that love you would it. just never know about. And it's super helpful. We have it's so, so much questions. fun. I know. I think we're going to talk to you about the morning. But, but yeah. really quick before. <laughs> because I know our producer is going to get mad at us. Yes. Once the rainy season is here, right? Yes. Do they do indoor? Will they find indoor? They locations? have done some indoor events. They recently took over the uh, abandoned Marshalls inside the Lloyd Center. Oh, yeah. So cool, so fun. They also find the covered basketball courts. Oh, yeah. So they make it work. Oh, yeah. my gosh. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So fun. I love that you do this. So Thanks, guys. Good. So good. It's a good time. Thanks, so fun. Funny.